school was quite exciting for me and I enjoyed my schooling. Uh, as a student at Northeast, in particular at Sumner High School, my standout teacher, of course, is Rebecca Bloodworth, who was the English teacher. She was probably five, three, five, four, not more than five, five. And she looked up to me because I was much taller and she said, little girl, you need to use your voice, speak your voice, and I have a role for you in a couple of plays. But she exposed me to theater, and I loved the theater. When I graduated, I had a few scholarships, and I went to KU, and then I fell in love, got married, and left KU, and that's when I came back to Kansas City and started working for the post office. I went into other government work with uh, General Services Administration and U.S. Department of Commerce, and then I got into uh, elected office in 73 and served for 20 years, almost 20 years, as a city council member in Kansas City, Missouri. I was serving as acting mayor, uh, and uh, we had a, a new development in Kansas City, Missouri housing development that uh, I was able to sign off on, and that probably because it was in the heart of the black community and it was new housing for low-income and middle-income individuals, and that uh, particular housing near the 31st and Prospect is still a, a shining neighborhood, doing very well, very well maintained, and I was very proud of that. The um, satisfaction that I got uh, was for actually serving the neighborhood leaders and neighborhood and property owners. I loved irate citizen, and that's uh, unusual, but I, I understood that they knew the answer to the problem better than I did, and I just happened to be able to access them to the right person or to the right department to get the response that they needed. So that's uh, what I enjoyed the most.